Hey, I'm the NYC agent. Hey everyone, I'm the NYC agent. Hey everyone, I'm the NYC agent. Hi everyone, I'm Madison Sutton, AKA the NYC agent, and I'm a real estate agent here in New York City. Right now, I'm at about 95,000 and growing consistently with anywhere from three to five million views per month. My business is about 3.7 times bigger this at this point this year than it was last year. I get literally hundreds of emails um, a week. In real estate in New York specifically, we weren't quite sure of how to go about showings and how to best serve our clientele. So right off the bat, that was the first reason was what was a safe and effective way I could show these apartments and kind of get word out that, you know, New York is still alive. This is to create a more user-based experience for a group of people, renters in New York, that I feel like the industry has been almost a little dismissive towards historically. I think in New York City, the cultural aspect of real estate is that rent renters are only a stepping stone to get to sales. So a lot of agents I've seen kind of use it as a door opener kind of aspect versus creating an experience and really bonding with your clients and making it the most efficient and enjoyable way possible. Like real estate agents where they were known as like the used car salesmen of New York. So I really wanted to change that image and make renting something that people didn't dread at the end of their lease, something that they could look forward to and create a new chapter of their life. TikTok in general has evolved in the past year, you know, where now at about a little over um, seven, 690 million users worldwide with 2 billion downloads. And that's doubled within, the downloads have doubled within the past year. Another thing about TikTok users in general is 90% of them log into the app more than two times a day and the average time spent is 52 minutes per day. So there's no way that any you know market wouldn't have, or any field or any um, business really wouldn't have gone to the TikTok platform. I'm starting teams where I'm teaching people not only about real estate, but you know what I would like to think is entrepreneurship and TikTok and social media in general that goes past filming an apartment. It goes into you know the cultural aspects of being a real estate influencer. I'm a no-fee agent, um, and I have been for about the past year or so. I just think ethically, that's where I stand. It takes an arm and a leg to move to New York City, so I want to make that as easy and as affordable and realistic for my clients as possible. So I shift the burden of the broker's fee onto the landlord. I do take a pay cut doing that. However, I feel like my clients reward me tenfold with referrals and support and just by being amazing clients overall. A big you know, ethical sense of why I do what I do is to show that New York isn't just this town where you have to have a luxury building or you're going to be in a basement with rats. There's a huge and very realistic middle ground that you know hasn't really been advertised to people wanting to come to New York for opportunities and for a fresh start. And I want to make sure that everyone knows that if you want to move to New York, I will give you the most realistic opportunities possible and that it's not just a dream, it's very easy, very easily a reality for you.